Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Bray Brand, Superintendent of Fairfax County Public Schools. I'm honored to be opening this year's Scholastic Art Awards. I am in awe of the talent among all of our students in every aspect of the arts, and I'm so glad that we're able to celebrate and showcase your hard work in this different but important way. As Henri Matisse said, creativity takes courage. That you are willing to share your thoughts and emotions through this chosen medium is a powerful thing, especially given the challenges that we have collectively faced this school year. You should be proud of what you have accomplished. I'm proud of you and I know that everyone here tonight, your families, your friends, and your teachers are proud of you too. In education, success is measured in part by grades and test scores, but what we value most in FCPS, how we truly define student success is in our portrait of a graduate attributes. What that means is when you leave us, are you a better collaborator, communicator? Are you a better global and ethical citizen? Are you more creative? Are you a critical thinker? Are you goal directed and are you resilient? I know that these skills are a part of who you are and that no matter what you choose for your future, you will be better prepared even if creating art is not your chosen career. I can't wait to see all of your virtual exhibits. Enjoy the evening, and I'll see you soon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2021 Regional Scholastic Art Awards Ceremony, sponsored by Fairfax County Public Schools. I'm Aaron Stratton, the Art Specialist for FCPS and the Scholastic Awards Coordinator for the Fairfax County Art Region. Tonight, we will recognize the outstanding accomplishments of secondary visual arts students in the Fairfax County Art Region, including public, private, and homeschool students in Fairfax County, Fairfax City, and Alexandria City. This year, a distinguished panel of judges reviewed 2,500 submissions and identified the students we recognize this evening to receive Gold Key and Silver Key awards. During the broadcast, the winning artworks will be displayed in slide segments like the one that started the show. As you watch these segments, you'll notice a gold or silver seal in the corner, which indicates the award given to the works being shown. The artwork will also be available tonight for all to view and share through an exhibition website that we will launch at the conclusion of this event. We'll feature certain artists this evening as we recognize works selected for special awards, enjoy a viewing of award-winning animations, and celebrate our Senior Art Portfolio Award winners. We will announce the recipient of an Outstanding Educator Award, and most anticipated are the Scholarship Awards, totaling nearly $6,000 that will be announced for the first time this evening. Welcome, and congratulations to our award winners.
The Scholastic Art Awards is an art awards competition for secondary art students uh, that Fairfax County has hosted as the regional affiliate for uh, nearly 20 years now. The Scholastic Art and Writing Awards offers our fine and visual emerging artists an opportunity to share their work with a wider audience. Um, it also offers them the opportunity to sort of find where they stand in the nation and in the district against other students. It's a really good opportunity for young people in Fairfax County from grades uh, 7 up through 12 to look at everything they've been working on, all their work, um, and submit some things for the competition. It's a great chance for them to talk with their teachers and really think about what they might want to submit. It could be through film, animation, it could be through sculpture or ceramics, they could um, craft a photograph. Uh, and uh, those works are judged by professional artists to uh, give those students opportunities for recognition, exhibition, uh, publication, and scholarships uh, through this program. Uh, we have judges come together from all across the DC metropolitan area who are professional artists and art educators and they come and look at uh, all of the artworks that have been submitted and identify the highest quality work from those submissions. Well I've noticed the quality of work has, um, looking back on my high school experience, they have so many tools available. Um, and it's nice to see them get into new types of media and to go into digital, which is sort of my area of expertise. And yeah, as someone who's here to jury, it's a great opportunity to really see what young people are working on, the new generation coming up. Um, there's a lot of great work really across the board. Uh, digital artwork, uh, more sort of traditional media, drawing, painting, photography. They're looking at the student's technical skills and they're really looking at the student voice and what are the students trying to say, what issues are they grappling with. Then that work uh, is divided up into uh, artworks that are recognized through um, different levels of awards. Students can receive an honorable mention, a silver key, or a gold key here at the regional level. Um, work that receives a gold key at the regional level is automatically bumped up to the national level where those works will compete against other gold key art uh, from other affiliates across the country. I always really enjoy getting the chance to see work being made by young people. It's really inspiring to see really the quality of work that they're doing. Teenagers have so many ideas rolling around in their minds. They're grappling with with contemporary issues, social issues. They're, they're thinking about the world around them. They're making sense of it with what they make and seeing some of the amazing creative work that comes through this program uh, inspires me and it inspires other artists and teachers across the division.
Good evening. My name is Dr. Ricardi Anderson, Chair of the Fairfax County School Board and the School Board Representative for the Mason District. On behalf of the School Board, congratulations to all of the 2021 Regional Scholastic Art Award winners. I am honored to recognize these creative voices, especially in a time when our community is seeking inspiration and hope. I am grateful that our students have continued to share their incredible talents through their original artworks, even when faced with the many challenges presented by the pandemic. As we look forward to resuming school-related activities in person, I recognize the great resilience and tenacity our students have shown, continuing to hone their craft and submit their work in a socially distanced and virtual environment. Again. Congratulations to all of the honorees, and thank you for sharing your passion. The Scholastic Art Awards permits only graduating seniors to submit to the Art Portfolio category. These students submit a collection of six artworks that represent their highest level of accomplishment in the visual arts. We're pleased to present a selection of work from this year's Silver Key Art Portfolio winners. Congratulations to our Silver Key Portfolio winners. It's my pleasure to announce a special award for each of these portfolios provided by School Specialty, a supporting partner known as a supplier of educational materials for teachers in classrooms. Art teachers, however, know them as an excellent source for all manner of art supplies. This year, School Specialty has provided a $25 gift certificate to each of the Silver Key Portfolio Award winners that we just saw. 
These certificates will be sent by mail to the address provided in the online registration system for the Scholastic Awards. Look for them to arrive soon and enjoy the opportunity to purchase some art supplies to fuel your future creativity. Each year, a number of special awards are presented to give additional recognition to regional scholastic award winners. These special awards include school board awards, superintendent awards, and American Visions nominations for best in category. We're pleased to present this year's special award winners. Next in our program are the Gold Key Award winners from the Film and Animation category. 
all the Gold Key and Silver Key Award winners in this category will be available for viewing on the exhibition website. We'll share a link to the site at the end of this event. We will view four Gold Key animations, including Every Last Cent by Leah Durkee of Longfellow Middle School, Distracted by Sabrina Martin, also from Longfellow Middle, Molded is an animation by Cooper Ludwig of South County High School, and finally from Thomas Jefferson High School, an animation titled Azure by Michelle Liu.
Hi everyone, and to all of the Gold Key, Silver Key, and Honorable Mention Award winners in the 2021 Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, congratulations. My name is Chris Wisniewski, and I'm the Executive Director of the Alliance for Young Artists and Writers, which is the nonprofit organization that presents the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. Today's winners are joining an extraordinary and diverse group of past award recipients, people like Andy Warhol, Kay Walkingstick, Stephen King, and Shabalala Self. Today, you become a part of a nearly century-long tradition, but you're doing so in a year unlike any other. Despite the unprecedented challenges that 2020 has brought, each and every one of you has looked within yourselves and found the courage to express yourself through your art and writing. And that's what you're being recognized for today. That's no small feat. And so once again, I say congratulations. I also want to thank all of the educators, administrators, parents, grandparents, family members who have encouraged you along the way. The Scholastic Art and Writing Awards are a vast national undertaking and they're only possible because of the exceptional effort of our affiliate partners all over the country who run regional programs, our dedicated staff in New York City, the leadership of our board of directors, and the many supporters who make our work possible. To all of you, I express my sincerest gratitude. Today is a day to celebrate this year's winners, but the tradition of the Scholastic Awards continues. So to all of you who are in seventh to 11th grade, who will still be eligible for the awards next year, I encourage you to apply to the 2022 Scholastic Art and Writing Awards next fall. Thanks so much. And one last time, congratulations. It's time to recognize the students who received the highest honors at the regional level in the Scholastic Awards, the Senior Gold Key Art Portfolio Award winners. And right after we see the portfolios, we will announce thousands of dollars in scholarships awarded to these students. Each of these artists submitted a portfolio containing a series of six distinct works that communicate a single cohesive idea or visual investigation. Each of the artists will read an excerpt from their artist statement as the artwork from the portfolio is displayed. Hi, I'm Dakota Brodniak and I go to Woodson High School. My portfolio is called Imperfections. 
the people I draw and paint all have a story, just like you and me. And um, my pieces capture the ordinary moments within our lives. Through my art, people can come together and feel connected to not only my pieces, but to the people around them. Thank you. I am Henry Escalante, I go to Chantilly High School, my portfolio is called My Culture. In my pieces I want to explore different types of ideas. For my first piece, I want to show the details of the person's skin. Most of, my picture, the, most of the pictures that I use to create my pieces are people from my family. I work with oils, acrylics, pen, and pencils for most of my pieces. Nicole Evans goes to Lake Braddock Secondary School and her portfolio is called Connections in Black and White. In her artist statement, she says, I paint and draw to ground myself. I like to capture the beauty of the natural world from mundane objects and activities to people and the special connections between them. I strive to depict the charm found in everyday life. Hi, my name is Lizzie Kai and I go to Chantilly High School. Uh, my portfolio is called How Have Humans Affected the Natural World? And in my portfolio, I explored how possible environmental consequences are linked to human habits. In each piece, I combined animals with um, mechanical elements and factory produced consumer items to represent how the desire for the human race to prosper and the neglect we have for environmental issues will eventually catch up to us. Hi, my name is Angel Lee and I go to Woodson High School. My portfolio is called The Fine Line. This collection of artwork displays the process of one's breaking point of fine line between their rationality and fury. I believe that there's this thin and visible barrier within every person that divides their rationality and fury. And in our society, people tend to hold onto their thin membrane of control inside their minds to keep themselves calm and rational. Hi, my name is Caroline Mitchell and I go to TC Williams High School. The name of my portfolio is Caroline Mitchell 2020 Works. Um, I create art as a way to visualize themes in my life, like anxiety, vulnerability, or heartbreak. Um, I feel like these themes really resonate with my viewers, and if there's any one thing to know about my portfolio is that I create everything with genuine emotion, and uh, every piece is a glimpse into my life. Thank you, Scholastic. Hi, I'm Caitlin Ngo. I go to Chantilly High School, and my portfolio is called the High Metabolism Curse. The purpose of my portfolio is to present how having a fast metabolism is not something to praise. I want my viewers to comprehend my day to day struggles. Hi, I'm Sojin Pak. I go to Centerville High School and my portfolio is called A War Untold. I create abstract forms that encompass solutions to the social and ethical problems of our world. My portfolio encompasses the idea of the Korean War, exploring how the split between the two Koreas has affected society. One day, I hope we can look past this political differences to help foster change and support for the innocent people that were and continue to be affected. Hi, my name is Ella Snyder and I go to TC Williams High School. My portfolio is titled The Natural State and it's an expression of my natural state through an investigation of our aging process. I utilize found materials and natural inspirations to influence my non-objective works. Underlying textures are used to create the feeling of memories and experiences that shape the person we are today. 
with an overlaying pattern to express our present state of mind and body. Congratulations to our Gold Key Portfolio winners. Earlier, we announced the School Specialty Award for the Silver Key Portfolio winners. Similarly, School Specialty has provided $50 in gift certificates to each of the Gold Key Portfolio Award winners. In addition to this award, several of these artists have been selected to receive scholarship awards presented by Northern Virginia Arts Organizations. Joining us next, are representatives to tell us more about the awards and announce each of the award recipients. Hi there, my name is Deborah Balistrieri and I am the Director of Visual Arts Education for the Work Heart, Workhouse Arts Center located in Lorton, Virginia. The Workhouse Arts Center is a 55 acre campus located right on the cusp between Prince William and Fairfax County, right across the Occoquan. And we house an amazing art center filled with over 3,000 classes and workshops a year, visiting artists, exhibitions, events, major community events, and so much more. And uh, my role there is to hire and design and work with all of these amazing studio artists to create these educational experiences for all ages. Uh, I am very, very pleased to be a part of the Regional Scholastic Art Awards again this year. And even if we can't be there in person and hand deliver these awards, it's very, rewarding to be a part of something like this and to see and get a chance to really um, learn about all of our talented, amazing students in this county. And uh, it is with great, great pleasure that I award this Gold Key Portfolio Scholarship to Lizzie Key from Chantilly High School. And I even have printed out an adorable little <laughs> actual physical scholarship that maybe I can mail to you, I hope, or somehow get to you. Um, I wanted to say, Lizzie, that the reason I, uh, the workhouse and myself chose your portfolio uh, was for several reasons. The, the title of your portfolio, How Have Humans Affected the Natural World, caught my eye. And then the work inside was unbelievably gorgeous. The color, the medium, your mastery in using that media. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful portfolio. And you should be very proud of not only the visual work that you have created, but some of the content that you are able to address in such a beautiful and almost tragic way and it's a very eye-opening portfolio, and I want to say thank you for making it. I think you're very talented, so please don't give it up and keep going and keep pressing. Um, this scholarship from the Workhouse will allow you to take a uh, any class you want at the Workhouse for you have it up for, for a good year here, and it's going to pay for your full tuition. So I hope you please take advantage of that because, as you know, Artists are learners. We're lifelong learners. We're researchers. We're voracious in what we do and what we love. And a large part of that means you're constantly perfecting your craft. So I hope you consider using this in the next year or so and uh, enjoy, keep learning, keep getting better. And I think you have a wonderful journey ahead of you. Thank you to the Regional Scholastic Art Awards for allowing us to be a part of it again this year. And congratulations, Lizzie, on a job well done. Hi, everyone. I'm Jenny Saginaw. I'm the president of Fairfax Art League. Uh, this year, it's our privilege to give another scholarship to another Fairfax County student. This one goes to Caitlin No from Chantilly High School, and it's in photography. Photography happens to be a, a love of mine. I, I um, 
started in photography when I was in high school, just like she's doing. There's so many aspects of photography. I don't want her to stop. You can always go into publishing photography, travel photography. It will take you places that you've never been before. Portrait photography. Photo books. And nature photography. So keep shooting and have fun. And I hope this little present helps you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. My name is Susan Tilton, and I represent the Vienna Art Society, which is a volunteer organization founded over 50 years ago in Vienna, Virginia, to enrich the community through its support of the arts. This year, we are pleased to announce the award of a $1,000 scholarship honoring the memory of Jeff Gorell, a longtime member of our organization. Jeff's family has funded the scholarship because of his dedication to the arts. Jeff was a Fulbright scholar and earned a PhD in educational psychology. He served for many years as the Dean of the College of Education and Human Development at George Mason University. But upon retirement, he became an award-winning watercolor artist and maintained a studio at the workhouse in Lorton. Jeff was known for his kindness and brilliance in addition to his artistic talent. I want to thank Jeff's family for their great generosity in creating the scholarship, as well as Terry Savat, who worked with me on the selection of this year's award recipient. This was not an easy task, given the talent of all of these students. We were especially impressed with the diversity in style as well as media used by our award winner, who this year is Carolyn Mitchell of T.C. Williams High School. Congratulations to Carolyn and best wishes for your future success. We will be in touch with you soon to arrange the delivery of this award. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Rudy Gernika. I am the president of the League of Rest and Artists, a nonprofit group uh, composed of local artists, photographers, and supporters of the arts in the metropolitan area with a base in Reston, Virginia. Uh, part of our mission is to reach out to the local community, and uh, we do this also by providing scholarships to emerging local talent through the uh, Fairfax County Public Schools Scholastic Art Awards. This year, we are awarding two scholarships of $1,000 each. First of all, I want to thank uh, Aaron Stratton and uh, all the uh, producers and collaborators in this event, as well as the art teachers in Fairfax County for all their hard work in uh, this uh, effort. We also uh, want to recognize the incredible, extraordinary, talented group of artists that these young students represent in Fairfax County. So uh, congratulations to everyone who submitted a portfolio, and I encourage you to keep doing art and making art. Uh, the scholarship committee for the uh, LRA is comprised of several volunteer members who separately chose their top preferences. The consensus choices were as follows. First, Carolyn Mitchell of T.C. Williams High School for her portfolio 2020 works. And second, Henry Escalante of Chantilly High School for his portfolio, My Culture. We will, reaching, we will be reaching out to these uh, two students with uh, their awards directly, uh, mailing it to them. So uh, thank you. And uh, it's been a pleasure to take part again in the Scholastic Art Awards. Hello, my name is Shelley Hazel, and it is my honor to speak with you as the chair of the board of Arts Fairfax. Arts Fairfax joins with the Fairfax County Public Schools for the Scholastic Gold Key Award Ceremony in providing a scholarship to an exemplary high school senior. Funding for this Arts Fairfax scholarship comes from the Howard Uphoff Bequest Fund. The scholarship gold key is meant to recognize the outstanding dedication and creativity of a student in the arts. 
Arts Fairfax Honors, Sue John Pack as this year's recipient of the Uphoff Scholarship. Sue John is a senior at Centerville High School and was selected for her extensive portfolio of abstract sculptures related to the history of the Korean War. Congratulations, Sue John. Congratulations to Lizzie Kai, Caitlin No, Caroline Mitchell, Henry Escalante, So Jung Pak, and all of our Gold Key Portfolio Award winners. Our final recognition of this evening is an Outstanding Educator Award. Our teachers do so much to support and encourage these students and are an important part of their success. While we thank them all, we can only recognize one Outstanding Educator this evening. This year, the award is going to the teacher who had the most Art Portfolio Award winners. Miss Terry Thomas from Chantilly High School. This recognition comes with $150 in gift certificates from Blick Art Materials, a national sponsor of the Scholastic Awards. Thank you to Blick Art Materials and congratulations to Terry Thomas. I want to wrap up this evening by sharing our exhibition website. You can access it through the QR code displayed now. A link to the website will also be posted on the affiliate webpage for the Fairfax County Art Region and sent directly to the student award winners by email. I encourage all of you to check it out, share it with your friends and family, and post a link on social media. All of the work we've seen this evening is on the exhibition website, and if you haven't seen your artwork go by yet, hang in there, there's one more set of artworks coming, but first I want to say a few special thank yous. I want to thank all of the teachers and the parents for supporting these creative teenagers. Thank you to all of the judges who came out to review the work this year, and thanks to Fairfax County Public Schools for their continued support and sponsorship of this valuable program. We're extremely grateful to our local arts organizations for their generous support through the cash scholarships announced this evening. I also want to thank my colleagues Jean Marie Galing and Susan Silva, who worked side by side with me for the last couple of months to make the 2021 awards program run so smoothly even as we had to retool for an, an online ceremony and exhibition. Finally, thanks to all the students who were brave enough to submit your work. Congratulations to you all, and have a great evening.